Hello everyone, welcome to the second question of trigonometric series. Now today's question is, if cos of A is equal to tan of B, cos of B is equal to tan of C, and cos of C is equal to tan of A, then we need to prove sin A, sin B, and sin C are all are equal, and they are equal to 2 sin 18 degrees. So let's start with this, the third relation, that is cos of C is equal to tan of A. Now let's do one thing, let's square on both of the side. Now, the first of all, the question is arising why I'm starting with the third relation and what I'm going to try to do here. So I'll explain in between. First, I'm going to derive two results, then I'm going to explain what I'm doing here. So I'm going to, uh, first of all, I'm going to take the reciprocal. The moment I take the reciprocal, I'll get secant square c is equal to, I can write this as 1 upon 10 square a. Now, I'm going to write 10 square c. I'm going to open secant square c as 1 plus 10 square c and that 1 on the other side, it will be minus 1. So, we'll get here 1 minus 10 square a upon 10 square a. Now, let's say this is our first relation. Now, I'm going to start with the second equation. Second equation is, second relation is cos b is equal to 10c. So, let's start with cos b is equal to 10c. Let's do one thing, let's square on both sides. If I square on both sides, from first relation, I got 10 square C in the terms of tan A. That is 1 minus 10 square A upon 10 square A. Now, from I'm going to compare these two, first and last. Now, I'll explain you what I'm trying to do here. See, I got 10 C in the terms of tan of A. Similarly, I'm going to convert 10 B in the terms of tan of A. The moment I get this relation, from the first equation, I can compare, I'll get the value of 10b in the terms of 10a. So, everything will be in the terms of 10a and 10 of a. From there, I'll get some equation and I'm going to solve for the value of 10 of a. This is what I'm trying to do here. So, let's start with the first relation. Or sorry, I'm going to compare cos square b in here, uh, 10 square a. So, I'm going to trying to get 10 of b in the terms of 10 of a. So, again, I'm going to take a reciprocal here. We'll get secant square of b is equal to reciprocal of this, that is 10 square of A upon 1 minus 10 square of A here. Now again, I'm going to open this as 1 plus 10 square B. And this 1 plus 1, on the other side, it will be minus 1 here. So if you subtract, you will get this as 2 10 square A minus 1, whole divided by 1 minus 10 square A. Now see, I got 10 of B in the terms of 10 of A. Now, all I have to do is, I have to put in the first equation. So, let's start with the first relation. That is, let's call this as, first of all, let's call this as second relation. Now, I'm going to start with the first relation. That is, cos of A is given as tan of B. Now, again, same thing, square and go on both sides. If I square on both sides, I can write this as 2 tan square of A minus 1 whole divided by 1 minus 10 square of A. Now, I'll take the reciprocal here. I'll get secant square of A is equal to reciprocal of this is 1 minus 10 square of A whole divided by 2 10 square of A minus 1. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see on both sides I have the terms of A and A, trigonometric ratio of terms of A and A. So, on the left hand side, I'll try to convert this secant into tan so that I'll get a beautiful equation in the tan, only tan of A. So I'm going to solve this in the next slide. Now I'm going to open secant square of a in the direction of tan of a. So first of all, I'm going to assume tan square of a, let it be x, this value. Now uh, let's open this. So this will be 1 plus tan square and we're calling tan square as x is equal to 1 minus x upon 2x minus 1. Now I'm going to solve this equation for x. Our x is tan square. So if you cross multiply, you'll get this as 2x uh, plus 2x square minus 1 minus x is equal to 1 minus x and from here we can write this as 2x square plus uh, this minus x and minus x will cancel out here you'll get this as plus 2x and then minus 2 is equal to 0 so here i can cancel 2 2 2 we'll get this as x square plus x minus 1 is equal to 0 now i'm going to solve this equation so the values of x are equal to uh, we can easily write the values that is minus 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 or 
the value is minus 1 minus root 5 divided by 2. Now, one of the values is not correct because if x is equal to 10 square of a and 10 square of a is always positive, so this negative value is rejected here clearly. So, I'm going to accept only one value that is uh, 10 square of a x is equal to this first one. So, this value is accepted here. This is our solution. Now, if 10 square of a is equal to minus 1 plus root 5 divided by 2, then I can convert this into, uh, I think, we can go in the direction of sine of a. So let's first write this as, I'm going to write this as cot square of a. So cot square of a from here will be reciprocal of this, that is 2 upon root 5 minus 1. Now I'm going to write this in the terms of cosec so that I can go in the direction of sine. So I'm going to write this as cosec square of x minus 1 is equal to 2 by root 5 minus 1. Now, uh, let's calculate from here, cos x square of a, that will be equal to, if you add 1 here, then this minus 1 will come here as plus, and then immediately I'm going to add here, so we'll get root 5 plus 1 upon root 5 minus 1 as it is. So from here, I think sin square of a, we got sin square of a as root 5 minus 1 upon root 5 minus 1 here. So I'm going to solve this in the next slide. Now in the last slide, I made this error that is I've, instead of this negative I've written positive and this positive I've written negative. I didn't take exactly reciprocal though all the values are absolutely correct just change the sign by mistake I've written. Now I'm going to calculate sine square of a and I'm going to rationalize here so I'm going to write root 5 minus 1 and root 5 plus 1 and I'm going to multiply by root 5 minus 1 and root 5 minus 1 here. So from here we'll get sine square of a as we'll get root 5 minus 1 square and denominator will get 4. Now I can write sine of a, sine square of a as, or sine of a as, I can write this as root 5 minus 1 divided by 2. Now this value, sine of a, I can write this as root 5 minus 1 divided by 4 multiplied by 2, I can write. And if you observe one thing, that is this value, this value is equal to sine of a if you write this value is 2 and this value will be sine of 18 degrees. That is the value. So first part I proved sine of A is equal to 2 sine 18 degrees. Similarly, if I do the same thing, everything same, I'll get sine B as 2 sine 18 degrees in the same fashion. Similarly, if I, if I do the same steps, I'll get sine C as 2 sine 18 degrees. So I think we have proved all signs are equal and they are equal to 2 sine 18 degrees and that will be all.